Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to the session on Jenkins. In this session, we are going to see the introduction of the Jenkins and set up the Jenkins uh, Jenkins in our uh, local computer. First, let us see what is a Jenkins. So Jenkins is a uh, continuous delivery and continuation integration tool, which is going to help you the developer to simplify the development process. As nowadays, uh, all the software industries are moving towards the agile process, which means there is a continuous delivery will happening at the same time, there is a continuous integration of the application needs to be take place. In order to support these two features, the best support tool is going to be the Jenkins. What typically Jenkins is going to do is, the Jenkins will always look for the, uh, look for the common repository where all the developers are committing the code to the central repository. From there, it will start the building and um, build the application to make sure that whatever the latest commits happening to the central repository server does not breaking the existing functionality. This is very important because whenever any commit uh, done by the developer having some issue, then it is it is always good that we can find early stages of the development instead of at the all the development completes and then we are trying to put in the uh, building the application hence see jenkins is going to be very helpful to build the auto uh, to automate the build process and also it can help you to integrate the test cases uh, uh, it can run the uh, ten, uh, automatically it will run the test cases unit test cases and integration test cases as well jenkins is developed in the java and it is a open source and it is going to support the cross platform and it is a web application which is written in the java so hence it will come by default comes as a var file now there are two ways you can use this var file one using the java console you can go ahead and use this application or you can directly if you have any application server the web server then you can go ahead and download this var file then you can use the jenkins before we go and install the jenkins let us see the diagrammatic representation how jenkins is going to work now let us consider there are a, a couple of developers who is going to work on a project with the different modules and all the code is going to available in the SCM. Either it might be a Git or SVN or some other uh, source management tool. Now what Jenkins is doing, uh, Jenkins what it can do is, it can it can automate the build uh, build scripts based on the time, time stamp or you can specify based on the some event. That means uh, each developer when they commit a um, commit happen to the central repository server after 20 minutes they, uh, the Jenkins has to run the build then it is possible so those type of configuration it can be support in the Jenkins now what Jenkins is going to do is Jenkins will take the central repository code and it is trying to build your up um, build your application and it is going to make sure that it is not build it is not uh, uh, it is going to it is going to tell you whether the build is going to success or failure in case of failure then you can send a notification to the uh, the set of developers who actually break this build those, those type of uh, email notification uh, configuration is available in the jenkins and also it can provide you a sequence of steps to configure so that each step it is going to monitor and tell you the status of the each step you configured there that means first you are going to build the application then if you want to try to run the unit test cases and then you are going to run the unit uh, integration test cases then all these things you can specify sequentially in the jenkins then whenever jenkins try to run this um, uh, code using uh, code using the any build tools like a ant gradle or the maven or git repository tools then it is going to specify where it actually having the um, uh, where it has failed and with the fail status about the what is the uh, what is the what is the exception occurred at that point of time so those details will be provided by the jenkins and also once a build is happening then you can you can move that var or er file to the required um, destination either it may be a development server or the qa server it can automatically copy those file to the required destination and also it is going to support the email notifications about the status and also 
if you want to any report with respect to the um, with respect to the test cases what are the part of the test case it has uh, uh, run and it is failed then those type of things it is going to be supported in the jenkins so this is the high level functionality of the jenkins now let us go ahead and set up the jenkins in our local computer first in order to set up the local computer the pre request is going to be you need to install the latest version of the java it is uh, should be greater than 1.5 1.5 or greater than version and then you can install the latest version of the jenkins so in order to download the jenkins um, software go to the this website jenkins.io and click on this download jenkins now here you can see the long term support this is the version you always uh, better to take this version and select the 2.7. var this is at this point of time this is the latest version but later point of time if you feel another uh, one version is the latest you can go ahead and take that as a latest uh, um, version of the var file now click on it it automatically download this 2.7.1 var file um as i already downloaded this one uh, in my uh, local computer so i am not going to download again so but before you uh, start um, proceeding this uh, video make sure that you downloaded the jenkins var file once it is done make sure that you already have the latest uh, version of the java installed on your computer or at least which it should be a java 1.5 or the greater version of it and now you can run the jenkins var file using the command java hyphen jar and you can specify the jenkins dot var click hit enter now it starts um, installing the jenkins dot var file and try to execute and it is going to make sure that the uh, the application is available at the browser using the localhost colon 8080 so this is the default port where this uh, once this uh, jenkins starts um, application started then you can access this one using the localhost colon 8080 port number it is trying to um, run the all the jenkin application so let us it may take the another few seconds let us wait for it once it uh, ups then uh, once the jenkins up it is going to say the message like jenkin is up and running fine fully run and up and running so we will see that message let us wait for few more seconds It is still running let us wait for few more seconds yes now if you see here jenkins is fully up and running so that means our uh, uh, application is available so you can access this one using the local host 8088 enter now for the start of the application it is going to takes time and it is asking for the unlock jenkins so this is this feature is actually added recently from 2.3 i guess from the version because in order to make sure that whenever you are installing the jenkins it, you it will create a one admin user and you need to make sure that you need to pass the correct password to unlock this process proceed further how you can get the password is there are two ways one is you can go to the console where you have started the uh, command and uh, here you can see that jenkins initial setup is required an admin user has been created and a password generated so this is the password you need to you need to enter here okay so click continue 
this is the basic step of the installation to verify um, the authentication process to make sure that um, have the better security now it will start up with the initial screen to proceed further it is still loading yeah it comes with the getting started and customize the jenkins so earlier i told right this is a jenkins will pro pro provided um, jenkins will support the various plugins so just what you need to do is before you need to work with the any tool like it might be ant or git or svn or gradle maven firstly you need to add that plugin to the jenkins and then you can use that um, tool in this hence what you can do is it has the install suggested plugins because Jenkins will tell you the few of the uh, plugins are frequently used um, in this uh, particular uh, Jenkins application. Hence, by default, what it is going to say is it is going to come up with a few of the plugins and uh, it is going to suggest that by default, you can go ahead and use this and later point of time, you no need to again go ahead and manually download and put in when it required. Because most of the time, what you are going to do is either you may be working with the Gradle project. That is the reason it included the Gradle plugin. You may work with the Git SVN as a uh, Git as a repo, uh, source control management. That is the reason it is already given the Git. And also Ant. If you are working with the your project as a Ant as a build tool, then it will be an Ant plugin. And if you are using the subversion, if you are working with any type like a SVN as a source control system, then subversion is going to be plugin. And uh, these are the few of the plugins which actually um, frequently used for the uh, Jenkins. Hence, it whenever you are installing the Jenkins, the Jenkins itself, it is going to come up with a few uh, default plugins it might require so that later point of time again no need to download hence it is going to take a few uh, seconds to complete all the uh, all the downloads but here point is that make sure that whenever you are running this um, uh, particular this screen you need to have a internet connectivity because if you see here in the console whatever the plugins it is um, specified in this screen it is trying to download from the internet at one time so next time onward it won't ask because this is part of the installation uh, so whenever you install the first time only it will ask and those will be available in the cache for them next time onwards it won't ask so this is a one time activity where you need to select the list of suggested uh, plugins and those will be downloaded hence make sure that you have a internet connectivity we are proceeding with this um, by, uh, before you proceeding with this video and I think uh, most of them are done. Only five are left. Let us wait for a few more seconds so that uh, those plugins also will complete. Then we can um, proceed with the further installation process. So this is this I am installing a uh, Windows as a service. And another way you can install the um, Jenkins is using the Tomcat. As this is the var file, you can directly go ahead and deploy the var file in the tomcat and you can get started those things we are seeing in the next tutorial but at this point of time i am trying to show you how to uh, install the jenkins using the command okay how to run the jenkins application sir uh, application as a uh, as a windows uh, java command and even we can see, see further how you can mark this one as a service for the uh, windows so that every time no need of actually going to the command prompt you can run it because that will be automated as a service so that whenever you restart the computer then automatically Jenkins will start automatically okay so I think uh, most of the things are done still still one two six are there let us wait for few more seconds is now downloading I think it is still downloading so this once it is completed 
So what now we are going to uh, do is we need to create a first user as a admin. So I am creating a user Shiba and you can give any password and uh, this is also you can confirm the password and you can give full name anything and I can give a test at the data of gmail.com just I'm giving you a random number random uh, email number but you can provide the email valid email address now click on save and finish now this is going to move to the next screen and where you can start the Jenkins this is the initial screen where you can uh, once the installation everything completes then it will come here and uh, you can come to this screen so we are going to look at uh, all the other details later but what I can tell you here is as we are uh, installing on the windows go to the click on the manage Jenkins and here we have a flexibility to, ma to make the Jenkins as a windows service so click on install as windows service URL and now you it has provide you need to provide a directory where it needs to install the Jenkins so click on install now what it is going to do is it is going to create a service in the windows services for the Jenkins the main advantage of this one is going forward you no need to start the service from the command prompt instead of that the windows automatically will taking care of starting on rest, uh, restart of your computer so now in order to see whether it is installed or not go to the windows services and you can see here Jenkins so just now we started it got started so this is how uh, you can uh, use the Jenkins as a windows service with this we are completed the installation part of the Jenkins in the windows using the var file okay next tutorial we are going to see how to install the same Jenkins application as a through the Tomcat application server how to deploy and how to work with it thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and uh, please do subscribe to my youtube channel for getting the more technical updates